If you want to take an absorbance spectrum, the easiest way to do that is to use the automated feature on this machine. So to access that, you want to load your samples in appropriately, put your blank into the carousel in slot B, and put your sample into the carousel in slot number 1. Next thing you'll do is you'll look for the button that says test on the keypads. So hit test and then you'll see a new menu show up. In order to do an absorbance spectrum, let's go ahead and uh, select the term scanning right here. So when you have scanning highlighted, go ahead and hit enter on your keypad to select it. Now here are all the settings for taking the test. And uh, one, one thing you want to make sure is that you have your range set correctly. So your starting wavelength, let's suppose we want to go from 300 to 700 nanometers. So here you can highlight start wavelength, push the enter button, and then you can go ahead and change now uh, the wavelength you want to start at. So we'll enter 300, and then hit the enter button to select it. Then let's go ahead and go on down to the stop wavelength. Again, hit enter. And then it'll allow you to enter manually which wavelength to stop the scanning at. So let's go to 700 nanometers. So go ahead and type in 700. And enter. You should see the changes reflect on the screen. So now it reads 300 to 700 nanometers. So leave the sample positioner to auto. And then use the um, arrow keys down here and select interval to change uh, how frequently it's going to take a reading between those two wavelengths. So here, after you hit enter, you'll be able to make a choice between anywhere from 0.1 nanometers to 5 nanometers uh, an interval, so I'm just going to go ahead and select one or two nanometers, which is more than enough resolution for determining which uh, wavelength is going to get the best absorbance. So hit enter to confirm it. And then once everything is set, you don't need to worry about the last three settings. Go ahead and hit run test. And then now you'll see that the machine uh, displays a graph of absorbance versus wavelength. So now what you want to do is make sure that your blank is in position and push collect baseline to um, calibrate the machine at every wavelength. So just go ahead and push that button with the blank in place. Okay, so now the machine has been calibrated at every wavelength. The next thing we want to do is we'll take a look over here. The machine has automatically selected cell number one after the uh, blank has been used, and now all we need to do to measure absorbance spectrum is to hit measure sample. So hit this button right here, and there you go. In order to get a better idea of what the actual values of these peaks, we can go ahead and edit this graph to have it show us a little more detail. So the best way to do it is to hit the button uh, under edit graph and then math, and finally say peaks and valleys. So go ahead and push that one. Here it says label peaks or valleys. Go ahead and hit the enter button to select yes. So then it changes from off to on. And then I would use the arrow buttons over here and select over until you get um, number of features. So we're going to label the peaks, and the number of features is how many peaks it's going to label. I would at this point hit enter, and then change it to one, so that it gives us the highest peak. Okay, at this point, go ahead and push enter. Okay, over here again. And then the machine says working. Let's see, after you hit escape. So now you're, you've got everything set. Once you push the escape button over here, it'll go ahead and label that peak for you. So go ahead and push that. Okay, so now you can see there on top of the peak, it says that uh, our 
wavelength at which we get the best absorbance is 524 nanometers and it returns an absorbance value of 2.518. When finished taking readings uh, of the absorbance spectrum, you can return to the regular functioning of the machine by simply hitting the escape button. So hit the escape button a few times, and you'll see the screen go back one level to uh, the uh, parameters of taking the absorbance spectrum. If you want to take another spectrum of a different type of sample, you can make changes here and then collect a new baseline and uh, get the new absorbance spectrum. And then hitting escape again asks you if you want to save your test. You have the option of saving it in internal memory or on a USB port. So here's a USB port. You can put a USB uh, drive in there to save your work if you'd like. And then if not, then just go ahead and say don't save. And then you'll see we move back up to the selection screen of different test types. And hitting escape one more time will bring you back to the main uh, screen. And here you go back to simply taking simple uh, single readings of absorbance or transmittance. Okay. And then uh, you can go ahead and take your samples out when you're finished. Okay. okay.